Welcome back to another BDSM United podcast. Yesterday, perhaps, I dropped a bombshell for maybe a few new people who didn't, probably they didn't realize that bondage is in our acronym because of reasons beyond just kinky play. Um, and unless you dig for it, there are very few places that will go beyond the surface to show you that bondage, in fact, is in our acronym, and it has to do with power exchange relationships, not just kink. Um, everyone will tell you about the kink, you know, like how to tie people up, how to pick out leather restraints, the kind of ropes to use, and all those kinds of things. But uh, we're going to cover a little of that towards the end of our uh, podcasts on bondage. But mainly for this one, we're going to focus on how bondage is a part of power exchange relationships. And maybe, like I said, maybe for the first time you're ever hearing that bondage is a part of uh, power exchange relationships. And uh, it's not, perhaps you were thinking before that bondage was just about kinky play, just about being tied up or being restrained. Um, you know, let's first look a little bit at our old guard history and kind of uh, kind of go from there. Uh, as a traditional BDSM person, uh, I like to look back on old guard history, even though I'm not old guard myself. And I like to draw from that legacy uh, of what they left for us so that we can find out, make sure we're doing our BDSM in ways that doesn't disrespect uh, the groundwork or foundation that they laid. Uh, BDSM history is actually about 80 years old. Um, you can find examples of kink thousands of years ago, and you can find uh, S&M history going back uh, in other places. But BDSM as a whole, uh, its history is about 80 years old. Um, and our history begins post-World War II in the late 40s to early 1950s. Um, it's the power exchange that actually makes BDSM a unique and a separate thing from kinky S&M play. Uh, the men returning from war, they brought with them the protocols, the structure, and ethics from military life, and they mixed it with their sexual activities. Um, it's those structures and protocols that make up the basis of power exchange. So how does that include bondage, you know? Um, yesterday we asked the question, why bondage? And so how, you know, why bondage? Why is bondage a part of our uh, acronym? Why not some other, uh, some other thing, fisting, water sports, uh, needle play, you know, any, anything could have made it if it was just about kink. But because being, bondage is about power exchange, uh, it made the acronym. Um, to answer that question of why, you know, how does power exchange include bondage, we really need to familiarize ourselves with protocol. Uh, and the easiest way to understand protocol is that it is the procedure or the actions of a BDSM relationship. In simplest terms, protocol is the how-to of a relationship. Let me repeat that. In simplest terms, protocol is the how-to of the relationship. The military, it puts a strong emphasis on being mindful of the details, and likewise, in BDSM, as the level of protocol increases, so does the emphasis on details. Like, uh, for instance, a casual social protocol still has structure to it and perhaps some order, yet the how-to is mostly going to be relaxed. Uh, behind closed doors and at fetish-related events, uh, a normal protocol will pay attention to more details. There'll be more procedure that shows uh, who who the dominants are, who the submissives are, who are the masters, who are the slaves. Uh, high protocol, which is typically used in times of uh, training or at special form formal fetish events, such as like high protocol dinners or tea parties, it, it'll demand the most attention to detail in how everything is done. Um, all the levels of protocol 
they all involve what we call mental bondage. And this is how bondage incorporates into uh, power exchange through somewhat physical, but all primarily mental bondage. A dominant man maintains control of the submissive's actions and movements. Uh, a submissive restrains themselves in how they act. Let me repeat that because it's really important. So all levels of protocol involve what we call mental bondage, and that is where a dominant maintains control of the submissive's actions and movements. And also a submissive restrains themselves in how they act. Even in a casual protocol, bondage connects the dominant to the submissive. And likewise, it connects the submissive, of course, to the dominant. And so that, that level of mental bondage is about connection. It's not just about restraint, even though we the submissive restrains themselves and the dominant maintains that control of the submissions, a submissive's actions. And when they're doing that, they're doing that through what is called protocol. You know, sometimes people won't even use the word protocol, but that protocol still exists. It's still protocol, even if we don't call it that. It's still protocol behind the scenes. That's still the definition of what it is. So in our next podcast, remember, we're keeping these podcasts short, but in our next podcast, we'll look a little bit more about how protocol and bondage fit together. This was Primal Piggy uh, for BDSM United Podcast. You can find me on Facebook at The Primal Piggy, all one word. Or you can find me as an admin of Whips, Chains, and Duct Tape. You can find that Facebook page at WCDTBDSM. You can find a lot of our resources and so much more at www bdsmunited.com. Uh, thank you for listening today. Be sure to check the archives of some of our past pro uh, podcasts. Most of those are a lot longer. We're keeping this summer BDSM summer school. <laughs> We're keeping that these episodes very brief, uh, just little bite-sized morsels of things for you to think about um, today about protocol and how it's the, the how-to or the procedure and how mental bondage is included and how a dominant maintains control and the submissive restrains themselves. <laughs> and that connection that it makes between the dominant and the submissive. All right. I hope you enjoyed this podcast and I hope to see you again next time on BDSM United. Thank you very much.